Hi there, warm welcome to you guys uh, that's going to be joining me on the five countries tour. It's going to be a hell of an exciting time. Um, I'm making this little video so that you guys can get an idea what to load and what not. Um, I know there's a lot of you that that's never been on a big trip like this. So I'm going to go through, I've, I've packed out everything here. I've, I'm going to quickly go through a list, the basic essentials that you need um, and more or less what you need on your bike. Um, so let's hope uh, I can cover and it's going to help you guys. Right, to start off, obviously your bike, um, make sure that you've got all the stuff for your bike. It is important to have the right tires. Guys, I've, I've been doing a lot of riding, a lot of different terrains. The best all-round tire that you can get is Midas EO7s. Um, they are brilliant off-road and on-road. They are capable of basically anything. All our touring bikes are also using them. Another good tire to use is maybe Heidenhaus. Heidenhaus, I've done serious riding with Heidenhaus as well. The only downfall with Heidenhaus, if you do get a serious puncture, like a tear in your, in your tire, you're going to struggle to actually get the whole tire of your rim. Uh, the sidewalls are extremely difficult to break. That beating is, is extremely hard. Um, another tire that uh, just come out is uh, the Anarchy Wilds. That might be a good option. Uh, I'm still in between a lot of things. Uh, Dunlop also might uh, give me some tires to test. Um, I might also be testing the uh, and if you wilds, let's, let's see. Uh, I can't tell you much about them. The old trusted TKCs, they are also brilliant bikes. Been there, done that, tested them. They are really, really good. Good friend of mine, he swears by TKCs on the back and EO7s on the front. Now, once you've sorted out your, your tires, um, make sure that they are all in good order that you've got your repair kits and all those sort of things. I will show you all of that as well just now. Um, another tire that I've forgotten about is, of course, also the Carus, uh, Carus 3s. Guys, also a very trusted tire, a little bit low mileage, but uh, for the sort of conditions that we're going to do, and we will be doing something of everything. We will be doing uh, normal tarmac, we will be doing sand, we will be doing mud, we will be doing loose gravel, you name it. It is going to be there. Now, with concern to the bike itself and with panniers. A lot of people have been asking me about panniers. Guys, the reason why I'm going with hot panniers is to put all my valuables in. Uh, we are a big group. We most probably won't have any trouble but it's always better to just be able to lock your stuff i take for instance i'm taking my computer with and uh, because of all the photography and things like that so when i'm off the bike all my valuable stuff i put it into a a pannier that i can lock i don't use a top box ever top boxes just don't last guys take my advice they break off somewhere along the line they break off and you've never done this if you do hard riding you don't want the top box on. What I have got, what you guys can look at, and uh, yeah, you can see how comfortable it is. Even our beautiful cat has made himself his home. Um, I bought this bag on my previous trip um, that I did with uh, the Canadians. It comes from due south, and I've tested it. And even my Canadian clients each bought themselves one of these. They are very, very steady, very hard material. Um, and I must say, we've, we've done, I've tested it in quite, quite a bit of rain. And all my stuff came out fairly, well, completely dry. Um, I do also recommend that you, if you go to um, any of New South or Cape Union Mart or what, one of these old K-Way raincoats. They work brilliant. Um, I just pull them over my stuff and yes, Bob's your uncle, you sort it. Um, now that big bag easily fits onto my bike. Um, 
And I can show you guys that as well. You can flip it sideways. I've got a sideways one where you can fit it sideways or you can fit it like that. Does not matter. Um, it is a, a brilliant thing to have. Righty. Now, let's get to some other important stuff. I've showed you guys uh, this. This little first aid kit is brilliant. It's got everything that you need. You can see mine is pretty worn already. Uh, time for a new one. But you put it on your handlebars and it is right there in front of you. So if you're in an accident, it is right there. Either you yourself or anybody else can get to it immediately. It has got the basic essentials. Keep that in mind. So it doesn't have a serious kit of, of all the stuff. But the basic stuff that you need to maybe quickly attend to somebody, that is there. Right then, I've also got this little bag that I made myself. Just one of these cheap little bags that I changed a little bit to, to fit onto my bike here onto, onto the side. Now that one also, I've got a fairly comprehensive first aid kit in here. It's full, however you guys will have to look after yourself as well with concern to... Um, your medication make sure that if you are any vital medication you've got it I know there's uh, somebody there that's going on our trip that's got problems with the sugar um, if you maybe a diabetes or if you epilepsy or whatever and you need medication for it heart problems guys do it okay um, you are going to get heart attacks once in a while on the bike as you go along because we're going to do some some rough riding as well just a joke uh, but yeah, that's uh, that you guys know I have got quite a bit of medical things there. Right, then I've got another little bag that has got, uh, fits on the other side of my, my bike. That's got, you know, your old trusty peaceful sleep. <laughs> Africa, take it with. Um, I pack all my, my essentials, my bathroom essentials, like, uh, you know, the all the smelly things, I pack that in. Um, then something else that I've got here is a little sewing kit. Um, you guys will notice that I pack everything in, in these little Ziplocs. <laughs> Works like a charm. Ziplocs for almost all your stuff. By the way, somebody has mentioned to me also the road that we're driving is very dusty. There's a lot of dust on it. So Guys, it's a good idea to get that for your cameras and anything that you don't want to get dust on. Go and get that. Make sure that you have that. Um, righty, then other things that I've got inside here is an extra, I've got an extra GPS that we will be taking, taking with. We all know that normal GPSs, you can't always trust these things. Um, this thing is foolproof. It will take you back where you want to go. Um, so I've got an extra GPS. Then um, if you've got a camera or something that has got need batteries, rechargeable batteries, just take one of them with as well. It's always a good idea to, to ex have extra batteries. Then, um, you guys will see here, I've even got two here, one for me and one for my wife. But uh, these little towels from... Um, these are called Cheeto Summit, but you get them at, at Cape Union Mart or uh, New South or any of these places. Get you one of these. Uh, I've, got, I've got a small one, like a little face towel. Um, and then I've got, I will show you guys quickly what they look like. Uh, the small one for the face towel and this one is your bath towel. Guys, they, they compact. You don't need to take a huge massive towel with you. And they, they're fairly cheap. Um, I will quickly show you guys how big this little thing is you uh, take it out there and um, if you open it up I mean, this makes quite a big big towel as you guys can see um, and this thing dries you off very quickly and what's nice about it as well you hang it out in the, in the wind and within five to ten minutes it's dry and it it's it's really really a comfortable little thing to to have um, righty, what else have I got here? 
Then, <laughs> something. Duct tape. Guys, this thing uh, is a charm. Whatever happens, if you're in an accident or whatever, ever needs taping, um, this thing is brilliant. Uh, I have taped a client's pants with us that got a tore in the pants, and we put this all around the pants and then the inside of the pants. And eventually, he actually said to me, Wow, you know what? This is a very good thing for the rain as well. So, yeah, you can. Uh, you can use it for almost anything. So take some, make sure you've got some duct tape. You can see here's an old one as well that I've got. Righty, so that is the two things that's going on the front of my bike. Right, then um, let's go to your riding gear um, itself. Guys, yeah, make sure that you've got your that you've got your gloves. Um, if you can take a second pair of gloves, yeah, you can take it. I've had people losing their gloves um, on a on a trip, but uh, yeah, take some some gloves with you that you have some gloves. Um, then of course the other one is um, your your jacket, um, guys. We are going up into Africa into warm areas, so um, something that uh, is going to give you a bit of airflow. Um, I've been sponsored by Yamaha South Africa with this really brilliant jacket guys take uh, a good jacket with you something don't go and ride in Africa with a leather jacket you are going to die of the heat through the day uh, remember as well we're going at a time of the year that it is it's fairly cold at night time so you're going to need some warm stuff but also it is very hot it can become extremely hot in the daytime so uh, make sure that you've got something for both these situations. Uh, then of course, I never ever go without my my raincoat. Guys, take this raincoat with you. You will not regret it. There's, there's not a worse feeling in the world than riding with wet clothes. So make sure that you've got a decent set of rain gear um, it's always good to have it's a go good investment even for future riding so if you haven't got make sure that you, you get yourself some and then of course uh, don't forget your helmet uh, make sure that your your helmet has got all the things that you need um, I really really enjoy this helmet that has also been sponsored me to me by George Yamaha um, thanks Fossey you might join us on the trip i hope so um and they sponsored me with this helmet and i must tell you guys this desert fox is most probably the best helmet that i've ever ridden with um i've also got there's a couple of you guys i've already asked you guys there is some of you that do have the intercom system make sure that you know how the intercom system work and how to pair it with my device it is uh, fairly important that we know that beforehand I think, Yolandi, I think you've got exactly the same makers as, as, as me. I don't know if you've also got the MC or if you've got the old model. But anyway, I can I can join up with quite a couple of different makes. Make sure that you know how to do that. Um, I know some of them you have to uh, set up as a phone and as not as an intercom system. Just make sure. I've got the Interphone F5 MC. Go and see how to pair yours with, with mine your riding pants guys a uh, good pair of riding pants always a good thing make sure you've got your boots um, then of course make sure that you've got uh, nice woolen socks another thing that is not nice is if you're riding out there with socks that's going to make your feet almost slip in the boots a good pair of woolen socks still the best uh, get them they you can wear them more than one day if you want to um, it's easy easy to wash as well and they're very durable they're a little bit more expensive than the other stuff but um, yeah take a decent pair of, of socks with you then something that a lot of people has laughed at me but 
I got a pair of, of water boots. Uh, these Wayne water boots, go and buy them at, at one of these places that sell all the safety gear. Um, I've got the one with a with a steel tip on it. And believe me, if it's raining a heck of a lot, this thing helps you greatly. Again, coming back to wet stuff, there's nothing worse than riding in boots that is wet. And uh, I've worn this for days on end, riding in wet, wet weather. Rain, really bad rain. And because they come up nice and high, they also protect your, your pants from getting wet there and your socks from getting wet. Um, and if it's raining a couple of days, days uh, you, you really uh, don't want to ride in wet socks. It is horrible. Um, believe me. Been there, done that. Righty. Uh, oh, yeah. And then uh, I've just always I take a pair of nice little flip flops with. Um, guys, it's a, it's a good idea. I know these old Crocs, they, they're not the, the easiest or the best things to wear if you in an area where there's thorns, but um, they're nice and comfortable. After a nice day of riding, you want your feet to relax. You don't want to. Uh, sit in a situation where your feet is feeling like they keep on taking the badgering. Um, you don't want to keep on wearing your boots. That's I also. It's not a not a good thing. I also love walking barefoot. Uh, that's also, of course, good. Righty. Um, another another very important thing on, on riding gear. Uh, camel pack, guys. I cannot stress enough how important camel pack is. We are going to be riding again in hot times of the year. Through, even though we're going, we're going into summer, it's still cool through the day, but it, we can get days that it's going to become extremely hot. So a camel pack is a very good thing. Also, if we are off a day, mine is uh, this little cheap one that's got, you can pack all sorts of stuff in here. I've also got an extra bladder um, that I always take with. Um, in case the one you get torn or something, um, you can you can put you know like your uh, some of your stuff that you need maybe like your uh, wallet and things like that you can put in here as well. Very very good idea to have it. Um, so go and invest. It's not it's not necessary to go invest in anything that's four thousand rand. I know there's this you you find them from three hundred rand up to yeah. Quite, quite a lot of money. Not necessary to go buy something that is extremely expensive. This is this all that you need. Righty. Um, so that is that is your your riding gear. Ah, um, something else. With riding gear. Uh, I I always take one of these with. Um, you know, even if it's if it's a uh, winter time, it's it's good to have one of these hoodies. And they, they just keep you warm. I like to be comfortable when I'm riding. I've, you know, I've been there, done that with the roughing, um, and, and I still like the roughing, but at a certain point as well, you know, I, I don't want to suffer all the way. Um, then, of course, your trusty old glasses. Um, you can see I've, I've got mine in this little thing that they don't break. Uh, I've, I've had so many glasses that break all the time. So I bought this little thing from the Chinese shop to just, Keep it nice and steady. Righty. Uh, uh, another thing. Cap. Uh, cap or a, or a nice, you know, white rim, rim hat. Especially you guys that, that uh, is a little bit sensitive to the sun. Guys, yeah, I'd rather, rather take one of these with a... Um, if we are going to take a couple of days off, so you, you will... Will need it. Righty. Now let's get to um, the things that you might need in an emergency. Right. Um, these tire fluid. What you do is you deflate your tire completely. Um, well, most most of your air out of the tire. In Take all of this, put it into your tire, and inflate it again. When you do get a normal flat, like a, 
uh, nail or something going into your tire, uh, this will help you to uh, not have to struggle with your tire all the time. However, it is, it's good to get your normal little uh, fixing kit that you uh, can quickly fix your tire with. There's, there's various uh, things on the market that you can use. Um, get one of them. It is it's, uh, for sure you, you're going to need them. Righty, then um, not necessary that everybody have to take a little pump. I got this little air pump from you guys might know it, it's, it's fun at uh, almost all your um, auto shops these days. This little thing works brilliant. Um, not necessary again to go and buy one, you know, from one of these bike places. Um, they ask your arm and a leg and they're exactly the same. So um, I've, I've got one. Um, it might be good to have maybe another one, one or two. Um, I had this thing of mine broken. Um, some of your bikes might not have the socket on. There is, uh, of course, the Yamaha Tenere's, very good bikes, they do have this sort of stuff on. Um, so, uh, make sure that you've got that. Okay. While I'm talking about this as well, make sure that you do take some extra fuses for your bike. Um, you don't want your, your fuses to blown, get blown and then you don't have fuses for your bike. So, make sure what fuses your bike has got and use them. It's also good for this little thing, just to put a, a fuse in that's a little bit higher. So it's a better, better to have that. Um, also, talking about a higher fuse, um, it's happened to a friend of mine where the um, fan um, kept on blowing because there was too much um, grass seeds and things coming into the fan. It kept, kept on cutting out and eventually it, it burned out the, um, it blew the fuse. You actually put a higher fuse in and it, it, that helped the um, fan to keep on working. So take, a, take some extra higher fuses as well with. Um, you know, your, your normal tire, tire things like these things that you're going to use for tire fixing, um, very, very important. I've also, um, I've got two sets of this build this epoxic. Guys, this stuff is potent. Um, if you really need something where you get something that breaks, um, I have fixed side pods of BMWs uh, with this stuff and with duct tape. Uh, they are just brilliant. Together with this, get yourself uh, some Prattly steel and some Prattly putty. Um, these things always, always go with me. Um, have your normal bike essential, uh, the things that's particular for your bike, um, all those tools, take them with as well. Uh, I've also got um, these little, um, I never can remember what they call these, but um, I've got these little ones that's got that special little tool, um, and then I've got a whole Allen, Allen screw, Allen kit as well. Um, I've got all the all the essentials, um, spanners, take some, some spanners. I've got most of the things, but um, like 13s, 10s, 17s, 19s, make sure that you guys have got them. I'm also taking a tow rope, guys. Um, might be good if, if one of you guys with a bigger bike also can take another tow rope. It, it was always good to have more than one, but it's not necessary that everybody takes a tow, tow rope with us. Let's hope we're not going to be using this. Then, I do have most of the stuff to repair a, a puncture if we have to take off a tire. Um, some of you guys that have got the, the tire, uh, tire tubes especially, you have to take the thing out and fix it up. Make sure those guys that do have tire tubes, make sure that you've got an extra tube. Um, for back, one for your front and one for your back if you want to. Um, maybe you guys can find out between all the, all the guys who rides what. If we can make up a list. And make sure that we've just got one of the, the essentials with it. Also, these Allen screws um, in the front of your bike, you need one of these that goes in there. 
Guys, make sure that you've got the right size for your own particular bike. Whether it's KTM or BMW, Yamaha's never need them, but uh, anyway. Um, but I do have, and I've got here yeah, a size 14, and I've got a size 17. I'm not sure, but I think the KTM stake use a 19 and a 21. Just make sure that you've got the right one. Um, it's these bigger ones that can just slip in like that. Uh, guys, make sure that you take your own tools there. Uh, I cannot have the tools for everybody. However, I will take quite a lot of stuff. Right, that is for any breakdowns that we might get. Um, I've also got these little hand cleaner, awesome hands, that I take with. Uh, after you've worked on a bike like that, you really don't want to to have messy hands. It's, it's not nice riding with, with uh, hands that's full of oil and stuff in your gloves. Um, so I'm, I just clean my hands with, with this. Um, and then, of course, I've also... A lot of people have laughed at me, but I've been using this little baby wipes. Guys, they work brilliant as well. Make sure that you've got them. If you can as well, take some extra latex gloves with. Um, if it's, uh, you know, a lot of work that you need to do on your bike, latex gloves also keep your, your hands clean. Then you don't have to, to worry so much. Especially if you're out there where there's not water. That is what you want. Right. Um, take a small little torch with a um, little head torch as well if you can um, something for your, for your tent um, also I'm taking I'm taking this I bought this the other day and I'm, I'm going to be taking it with um, wherever we camping that we can we can put this up at the camps uh, most of the campsites do have electricity there's some of them that don't so uh, I'll take this little thing I still don't know how I'm going to pack it that it don't break but um, let's do it um, I'm going to take it with so we got this little light with us guys first time ever that I will be taking it with but you don't want to work in the dark as well um, if we've got it right then um, make sure that for your camera you've got your little discs and things uh, you can see yeah uh, the GoPros and, and all these little cameras like the Ryan that I'm using, uh, they take these little ones. I've just got these little containers and I've got uh, some extras of them. And I've, I've got one that says not used. It's got a green thing around it um, that it's clear to go. You can record. And then I've got one that said used uh, with a red that I know I've used them that I don't reuse them. Um, it's also a good idea, guys, to... Take some extra batteries for that little camera of yours. Um, by the way, I've got this little, I bought this for the GoPro that I had. But uh, I've lost so many GoPros now. Um, and in all honesty, I'm not going to go again with GoPro either. Um, but I do, for those guys that do have a GoPro Hero 4, um, I've got this little rechargeable kit um, with two extra batteries um, for the GoPro. I'm not going to use them but um, yeah I, I do have extras for, uh, for you guys that you know about it um, I've also got one of these little lights that uh, nice to uh, to um, use in your tent so that you can just uh, you can hang it up in your tent um, so that you've got some light in your tent not to say that we're always going to have electricity Righty. Cameras. I've got this little bag as well, full of my my extra camera equipment. You know, extra cameras that I've got, and your chargers that you've got the need um, for your cameras. All the all the nitty gritty stuff um, that you need. I take it with. Uh, you, you never never can lose out um, having too much. But uh, we also quite a lot of guys, so we will have some stuff between us. I've also got with this Ryan. I've got some extra, all these extra things for the GoPro, and yeah, that I always I take with. Um, I've lost so much stuff, and I've given so much stuff away as well uh, to everybody. But um, it's always always nice to have. 
This Ryan little kit is very, very nice to have this. Then of course your, if you want to take a tank back, I can't do, I can't do without this thing. Um, this thing is just brilliant. My camera goes in here. Um, it fits on the front of my, my bike. And what I've got there, um, I've got this uh, extra license, my original license. I put under the seat. Um, I've laminated it. And I put it under the seat so it is visible there. Um, the one on my bike, I've had it stolen from my bike before. So this one now is locked away underneath my seat. If they really want to see it, there it is. Um, they can see it. Also, um, guys, make sure that you've got your passport. This, unfortunately, this is my ID now. My passport still uh, at the German uh, consulate. I need to go and get it for our trip to Munich. But uh, make sure that you've got all your documentation. Your, I've given you guys a list. Uh, of all the documentation that you need uh, for your motorbike make sure that you've got your papers for your motorbike is the if the motorbike is still um, with a bank uh, or if you're still paying off at the bank make sure that you've got a letter from the bank not older than a month and um, the same with the insurance and 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 you guys um, should know all the, the ins and outs now make sure that your medical aid knows that you're going over so that they can also cover that for you and put you on the list um, I've got my my cameras and and all these sort of things that I put into my my tank bag um, my little wipes my little baby wipes they go into my tank bag um, and then I just always have extra keys um, if I run into trouble with a bike um, I've got an extra set of keys with me um, if you break off a key in the bike or whatever. Uh, make sure that you've got that. Then, what else can I show you guys here that I've got? Okay, um, I've got a little tester for, for uh, your tires. We are going to be riding quite a bit of sand. So, we are going to be deflating tires, most probably in the sand. Um, and... It's a, it's a, you know, you, you need to get it to a proper, proper setting then. I've got this electronical one, you get um, all sorts of ones. If you guys do have something like this, take it with. It's, again, useful to have more than one in the whole group. Right. Um, also, if you've got a little raincoat for your, your tank bag, take your little raincoat with. Um, another thing, of course, is uh, for those of you that do have it, uh, GPS. Um, if you've got, uh, I've got the new 590 um, Garmin Zumo, brilliant one. Uh, I've got Tracks for Africa that's loaded on here, and I've got the normal ones that's loaded here, and it can go cross border, so uh, we should be fine. But again, like I said before, <laughs> I've gotten to know these things not always that trustworthy they don't always take you on the right road ready then my old trusted leatherman you've got one of these guys yeah take a take it with you always a good idea to have one and another thing that i've got is a, my old trusted zippo and uh, make sure that you've got some some extra fluid for your for your zippo um, very cool, good tools to, to have. Then, um, guys, these rock straps, you never can have enough of them. I've got quite a lot of them. I've got 12 of them that I always take with. And I have fastened so many different things with this. Um, it's extremely, extremely strong. Um, I've, I don't get the, I haven't got the one with the, with the little hooks. I've got this one that you, you tie through something um, like that, take it through, and it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, extremely good to have these rock straps. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I will even tow a motorbike with this if I have to. If I have to. Right, then your camping gear. 
Um, oh, something that I don't need, but some of you guys will need it. Chain loop. Make sure that you ta do chain use uh, or take your chain loop. Remember, we are going to be driving a lot of sand, a lot of dust roads. Make sure that you do have your chain loop. Uh, you don't want to run without it. Um, the guys that's got drive shafts like ours don't don't have that problem. Um, guys, it's also a good idea. Take your bike for a good service before we go up. Make sure that all your things are working, everything is right. The guys with the KTM's and the BMW's, make sure that all your electronics are working. We don't want to sit with electronical problems out there as well. There is nothing out there. Nobody can help you. Right, then... Um, with concern to your camping camping equipment, there's so many different makes. Um, I've got this little tent, this little K-Way tent thing. Has been, uh, I've been using it everywhere. Goes nicely on my bike, um, and nice big tent. Uh, it's not necessary, maybe to to get a big tent, but uh, again, I like my comfort when I'm camping, um, when I'm out there. I want to I want to sleep decent and I want to take all my stuff that is with me and put it in the tent with me. Remember when we also going to be Botswana where there is certain areas we might if we're going to be driving riding Hunter's Road if it is accessible if there's not hunting going on there and we can drive it and we can't make it we might have to cut our trip halfway there and go the next day to Kusani. Who knows? We will see. But um there's hyenas out there, guys. You, you rather want your stuff with you in the tent than outside, especially food-wise. Then um, get yourself a nice, small little um, sleeping bag. I've got this little sleeping bag. That's again, it's going to be fairly, fairly warm. Uh, cold at night time. Warm through the days and cold at night time. So um, get yourself a nice little sleeping bag that's going to keep you warm through the night. Uh, this one you guys can see it's fairly small and compact. All of that fits into that nice big bag of mine. And I've got this little thing. I tell you what, they call it cuddle bag. This thing is, is most probably the nicest thing for me on my trip. Um, if I go and sleep at night time and I put my head on this, this thing is the nicest, softest, nicest cuddly thing that you can have with you um, on your bed um, very nice little pillow small you, uh, you can buy these inflatable things but believe me they, they're not that nice again I like I like to sleep very very nice when I'm out there um, then um, guys I've, I've also given you a photo of this um, this ATG little thing I know some of you said oh, we're gonna rough it again I want to sleep comfortable at night time and I don't want to sleep every night on the floor and get cold and hard and if I want to go and ride enjoy my riding next day I buy this and guys this thing is tiny it, it, it breaks up into a little piece this big it's, it's, it's small I will pack the bike later on and I will show you how the bike's been packed uh, with all of this stuff on it easy easy peasy right and then um, uh, again i like my my comfort if you don't want to buy one of those um you know get one of these inflatable ultra light um little mattresses um, my wife and i have been you know camping a lot um, and these things are brilliant uh, they take me through every night sleeping and uh, you know, now if I want to be comfortable, I throw it on top of that little stretcher and I sleep as if I'm sleeping at home. Because my wife is not with me. Right, then we've gone through some of this. Guys, ugh, I can't stress this enough. This little Yeleti coffee maker. Most probably this is a saviour. You can't, I can't go without coffee. If I haven't drunk some coffee in the morning, I need it. And this little thing is, you get the cheaper versions, but like somebody mentioned on, on Facebook, it is not that good. Um, invest in this, it's, a, it's uh, quite an expensive little thing to have. But um, 
Uh, I can't go without it. It is absolutely brilliant for me. I'm having this thing. Right, let me just get this out of the way there. Right, um, I've got this little thing that I, I pack my coffees and sugars and teas and uh, all the stuff that I want, little cookies if I have some cookies. Um, this little thing, yeah, you can take it. Otherwise, uh, you know, some of these lockable little plastic things. Anything that's going to hold your, your coffee and tea in. Um, and make sure then when you pack, also it's easy accessible. Um, you know, if you stop somewhere and you quickly want to have some coffee, you can take it out. You can drink some coffee. Um, with that, make sure that you that also you have, of course, your spoon and fork and knife and, you know, all these things that, you, that you're going to need out there. Um, Again, you know, you can eat with your hands and say, oh, I'll rough it. Guys, all good by me, rough it. Um, I like my comfort when I'm, when I'm out there. I do this for a living. Not... Then, um, I can't stress enough how important this little thing is as well. Guys, we're not going to uh, be eating out every night. We're going to be making food on the fire and cooking some meals. This is a, it's a brilliant little thing. You can see this um, just, just right size. Um, and that's a little box that comes in. That's how big it falls up. Um, nice little um, Covia stove. Get yourself one. Um, even if, you, if you're never going to use it again, oh, then you can always give it to me as a present. But um, yeah, get one of these little Covia stoves. They are they're really, really brilliant. Then I've also shown you guys these. Um, I've got two sets of these uh, little um, cooking things. Um, I, I'm going to open it up for you. As you can see, they break up in all these little little pieces. Um, this one has got quite a lot of pieces. That's um, easy to. Even boil an egg is perfect for an egg as well. If you want to boil an egg or a baker egg. Um, this one has got. This one has also got another one like that, like a nice little pan. You guys, that remember the army bully beef and oh man, some onions, bully beef in this. Brilliant. Um, there's another, got another, another little one, and it's got these, this little. Um, like a big spoon that you can you can use and uh, you've got these little things that you can eat your porridge out of you've got some porridge um, but yeah like I say these, these things uh, it's extra so you don't have to take it but it's nice to have if you if you've got them um, if you can borrow somewhere borrow it um, like I say uh, I've also got a couple um, yeah so yeah if I can if I can lend mine to you I will I will definitely so uh, all these things are easy, and like I say, they, they come in these little bags. Easy pack them into that red bag. Guys, then uh, something, um, I've, I've got quite a lot of books on writing as well. Um, this little, this is now Afrikaans version, uh, Ridders van die Grondpad. Um, but this little uh, Adrian Oosthuizen and Dion Meyer that wrote this little book, um, it, is a, um, it is a very nice little book for for reference to to see what you can take where to go yeah it's it's, it's a nice little book to to have other readable book is um, bike tar and gravel adventure in southern africa um, or south africa this is also a very good book it's got uh, all sorts of tips and places where to stay and future if you ever do it in the future um, i've got here yeah, this little book uh, bike the longer road um, that it, helps you also plan a little bit for going up into Africa. Nice little books to have. Um, just read read all these books. Um, um, then I've got this this book four by four routes through southern Africa. It also it's got you know quite a couple of different routes that you take. Um, it's got uh, a day by day layout and, and these beautiful maps exactly showing you where to go, tells you where to camp if you can and yeah, it does. Um, 
But as I said to you guys also previously, I've been struggling, you know, making bookings in Botswana um, and Namibia. The guys, I don't know how they ever do tourism because you struggle you uh, all day long trying to get a hold of them and they never come back to you. And if they do come back to you, they come back with a half information. But we're getting there. Um, but guys, this is basically what I'm going to be taking on the trip with me. Um, if there's something that I've forgotten now, please forgive me. But um, this should help you to see what, what I am taking on the trip with me. Um, it is uh, easy for me. I'm, I've been used to packing and, and getting everything out. I will show you. I will pack the bike completely with all of this stuff um, and show you how to pack it. Clothes-wise, guys, get things that's not going to be... Um, it's easy to fold up. Uh, and, and what I do with all my clothes, I roll it up. Um, some underpants and things like that it's easy but clothes like this you want to just roll it up um, it's easy to fit into your um, panniers and or if you want to put it in a bag whatever it's very easy to just take things that is not going to take a lot of effort to keep nice um, if you sit at night time around the fire you still want to enjoy yourself and you don't want to worry about your looks if there's maybe a beautiful lady walking past or whatever guys so you know, make sure um, that you've got everything i will pack the the bike now um, and then i will show you how the bike looks after it's fully packed okay guys yeah yeah you can see now the bike is all loaded and let me go through it uh, you can see there uh, my little side little bags, self-made side, uh, side bags, um, the ZA sticker, guys don't forget about that, um, also again given to me by George Yamaha, um, if we go around the bike you can see my tank bag all loaded, um, GPS right there, um, here is the little first aid kit like I said to you guys, um, very easy, reachable. Um, coming back, um, all my my uh, clothes and my computer and everything is in my two panniers. Uh, I've, I don't know how many of you guys are actually going to take computers with. I'm sure I'm the only one. But um, yeah, yeah, in the front, my tent that's in the front. Um, the bag that I showed you guys earlier with the boots on top. Everything has been packed in this bag. Um, with the straps on so uh, that's the final product and you guys can see that it is very easily doable and um, the smaller bikes might be loaded a little bit bit heavy but um, yeah uh, luckily I'm riding with a proper bike uh, I've got a feeling I'm still gonna gonna hear something about this luckily I've got some backup Anyway, uh, yeah guys, I think this is going to be a trip to remember. Um, all done by African Motorcycle Adventures. Let's go and enjoy this tour. 14 days of pure fun through Africa.